What is going on everybody? Here we are tonight. We're going to open up a couple Pokemon 151 tins and then we're going to open up that Gardevoir tin that I found at Dollar General earlier this week. If you watch that video from Walmart, you could see it was uh it was pretty good over there today. So let's go ahead and uh open up this 151 tin. Well, of course, my favorite Pokemon right here on the front. Yes, that would be Dragonite. All-time favorite. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Funko Pop in the back. Wife got me for my birthday. Super awesome. Dragonite Funko Pop. Couldn't be happier about that. Of course, it's got the Dragonite card inside. Mm. Still haven't got the Blastoise. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you know I talk about that all the time. Have not been able to locate the Blastoise yet very disappointed about that i see a lot of people have uh, pulled these uh god packs but it has eluded me so far pidgey metapod podway with the tongue mr mon and no big hit in our first pack mm -hmm. let's get into the second one I really do want to get that Obsidian Flames Charizard box. I just didn't want to buy it at Walmart because, you know, things things seem to be a little cheaper at your local GameStop here lately. So, I'm going to hold out and go grab that from GameStop tomorrow. Shout out to GameStop for having better prices than Walmart. Oh, look at that, y'all. <laughs> Dragonite Hollow out of the Dragonite 10. There you go. That's awesome. <laughs> How about that? Here's your code card if you want it. That's pretty cool. Really wish they had put those Master Balls in there. Really disappointed, I know. A lot of other people are too. Those Master Ball cards are really cool. I'm going to have to go around and get some Japanese cards and hopefully get the Dragonite Master Ball. Which I would love to have. There's a Gengar card. Super disappointed they did not have those in the English stuff. But, can't get everything you want, I guess. Kind of like getting that Blastoise. Doesn't look like that's going to happen either. Horsey, Flareon, Ditto, Fire Energy Hollow. And that would be our first pull of note this evening. I'm glad they don't stuff these packs in the tins like they do the other ones. And some of those other two pack tins, those packs are just kind of jammed in there. Which isn't cool at all. A lot of the times you'll pull out a card and it'll be damaged right out the back. And no, oh, Psychic Energy Hollow. Okay, so two Hollow Energies from the 151 tins. That's actually the worst I've ever done out of opening 151 tins. Not super disappointed by it, but. can't say that I'm not disappointed because I am. I really want the Blastoise. I'm hoping there's some Sun and Moon era packs in here. Oh, right off top there's Lost Origin. Not a good sign. Good old Gardevoir promo card. There's a code card if you want it. Are Lost Origin, Darkness Ablaze, and Rebel Clash. Ooh. From a 2019 10, I was hoping for a little more than that. No doubt about that. That is disappointing. We'll go ahead and open this one first. Wow. Super disappointed about that. I was hoping for a lot more. 
than that from and of course as for the norm sword and shield arrow almost always disappoints oh, I was really hoping for some burning shadows sun and moon base set but nope Diglett, <laughs> not being very good to us tonight. All right, we're down to Rebel Clash. <laughs> Last pack, rub a little magic on here. Last pack magic. Let's see what we can get. that well if y'all keep up with the channel we are to 700 subscribers as of tonight and if you haven't watched a thousand pack giveaway i have some cards off at psa getting graded right now and when they come back the best graded out of three different cards go check out the video if you want to see that i'm not going to give away too many details watch the video i'll be giving those away so Stay tuned, y'all. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.